welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Welcome to the Mommy Dome. Pull your jeans up over your eyes. Tonight we are all poly and bi. Make sure you get your moose soup and plenty of water. Now, please, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the stage Tom and Christina. Yeah, Hold Bert on. is fat. Let All me right. open my bottle of water that I brought out. <laughs> Anyways. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing tonight? Thanks uh, for coming out. Where's your water, Tom? It's right fucking here. Okay. It's not. It's I have a clear glass. Else. It's vodka. Am I right? It's sober October. No, it's not. Boring. Are you guys doing it too? Sober October? Fuck no. Yeah? Fucking losers. That's what you are. <laughs> they were like, uh, no, who asked that? Bert. He came over and he's like, hey, hey, push. How come you never do these contests? I'm like, because I'm not fucking retarded. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like It's not that nice to say that. <laughs> it's not. Do you want to be involved? In what? In Sobriety? the current? Yeah. <laughs> no. What about 90-minute hot yoga sessions? Oh, that's so terrible. I actually picture you in there dying. I would die. <laughs> oh, you would oh. quit so fucking I, fast. I wouldn't like it at all. No, no, like, quit. No, you would no, quit, quit immediately. Yeah, 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 You'd be like, well, it's hard. And then... <laughs> I, I would do it if it was like Road Rules 2017. And there was like, there's a prize for you. <laughs> oh, if they're like, you get a motorcycle if you make it to the end of this thing? <laughs> Yeah. And you can ride it through Vietnam. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah, of course but you would. Glass. <laughs> yeah. You what, do just... you, what do you win for doing this, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> this was the worst bet I've ever been involved in. Because there's also no stakes. Yeah. Yeah. Like... There's still no stakes. Like, yeah. for the weight loss bet, there were stakes. Like, there was, you'd be publicly humiliated, which you were even if you won, I should yeah. mention. You'd have your beard shaved by the other person, and you're supposed to pay for a trip. It's like, oh, there's all these tiers of things at stake. For the sobriety hot yoga one, you're like, okay, what if I fuck up and I drink? And they're like, then you're, you're just not yeah. the guy. And you're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so That's true. Maybe I will get super drunk all month and just <laughs> not say it until the month's over and be like, I lost, I guess. I fucked up. <laughs> I lost, and there's no ramifications for losing. But the problem is there's no... It's all, it's all the honor system, right? Yeah. Bullshit. Do you think that Bert is being honest? No, what? No, right? <laughs> I wanted the scram bracelet. I feel like that would have been yeah. so fucking funny, dude. I know. <laughs> like a convict, you guys. And I think we could have done it, but like you know sometimes you see that look in someone's eye when they're like, are you really going to do that to me? Like that? <laughs> And when I saw that in his face, I was like, all right, like, honor system, don't fucking start crying right yeah. now. You know? So, but I feel like we're all doing it honestly just for him. Seriously. <laughs> no, really, that's why we're doing it. It's, it's all, it's basically to get Bert to be sober yeah, yeah, in yeah. October. Yeah. That's the whole reason. Like, everyone else it's is so like, funny. I'll do it too. It's not hard, but I'll do it too. I think it's hard for Ari. Ari's struggling with the, the weed aspect, for yeah. sure. And he's annoyed. He's really annoyed. He's like, okay. <laughs> mumbling through his fucking distorted uh, face. So but chewy. He's ugly. Duh. He's not ugly. <laughs> Jesus, Tom. What? I can't, he can't help it. You think he's the ugliest of all of you? For sure. Really? You know what's crazy? There are women that find him attractive. And I'm yeah. always like, what? Yeah. Like, why? And they're like, I thought I saw he's kind of hot. But they're always like, they're Wait, always like, they beat like? fucking chicks. Like, I love how you always do women that way. I don't uh, always I do women that way. It's always the cum guzzlers that are like that. 
Yeah, like chicks that would look at Ari and be like, yeah. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's the cum? Yeah. What I'm do always you, looking for it. What do you think, like, what's his game? Like, you know how you, you always talk about guys that have their different, oh, different game? game. What's, what's that game? I think the appeal of Ari is that he is, he's not tied down. He's, like, really free-living life. Yeah. So, like, somebody sees him as somebody. He has nothing holding him down from doing anything, like, ever. He can, so, uh, let's go to, like, Thailand tomorrow. He does yeah, that. Yeah, he'll yeah. be like, we can come back in fucking January. Like, yeah. he'll just do that. So, I think you see, like, a guy just living his life freely and, and just doing whatever he wants. So there's an appeal to that, you know? Okay. Yeah, I think what kind of girl do you think? Like, what's the girl? It's just a girl who's transitioning from, like, a bad place in her life <laughs> to, like... She's like, this will be, like, my last fucking... It's like, you're like, yeah. I'm going to quit drugs tomorrow. Like, that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> It's like... Yeah, it's like the last step before you, you go get clean, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. married. Like a girl who's like, fucking, yeah. this is my last, you know, like, uh, unemployment check. What the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> And then she sees Ari, and she's like, oh, all right, I guess I'll do that, too. And then, <laughs> and then she fucks him, and she's like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? And then, then she finally gets her shit together. Well, thank God Ari's famous, because if, I mean, if he weren't, there's just pictures of his asshole everywhere on the internet. Oh, yeah. Like, could you imagine Googling him the, now, the like, Jew researching? Clam. Yeah. yeah. I've learned what your ass smells like. What your cock and balls smell like? Yeah, his yeah. Uh, his ass doesn't smell good. Nope. I promise you that. Doesn't smell like it used to. You ever watch the Jew clam video? That's not a lot of yes. <laughs> when you get out of here, Google Jew clam Ari Shafir, and he he has a, a real serious hemorrhoid problem. And oh, it's disgusting. No, it looks like a, a fucking. You ever seen like wildlife monkey ass videos? You know when you see like a monkey's ass at the zoo and you're like, what the fuck? And yeah. like their ass is like yeah, that big. Yeah, gapes out. His asshole comes out and f swells up and it looks yeah. like, a, like a monkey's ass. Yeah, it's real cute. Look it up. Tom. <laughs> don't look it up if you don't want to throw up, but look no, it up. It's not. If you do. I noticed you're not wearing your hat as the new hat comic. Here's the thing. I'm so fucking pissed off. I forgot my hat. No. What do you think of this guy's hat? That's, got, that's a hat. That's a great hat. Do you like that one? Yeah. Choo-choo. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> is, that what it, is that what that would be considered? Like a conductor? It's a, a sailor. sailor. Yeah, okay. all right. Fucking all aboard. Whatever, man. Uh, <laughs> pull the... Hi, hi, Captain. I don't know the sailing terms, but do that with the, the <laughs> sail. Get it up. <laughs> Scrib the jib jab. There you go. Do you sail? Scram the chum. Do you ever go on boats? <laughs> Once in a while? What do you fish? You, you do? Once yeah. Wait, how often though? Be real. A couple times a year? Oh, he can work Where do you go out of? Then. Like, where do you do it? San Diego. San Diego? Oh, okay. Do you go deep sea? Where do you, where you, can you, where do you fish in there? <laughs> off the beach? Like off, off piers? piers? Okay. So you're like a land fisherman. <laughs> you what? You go on boats too? All right. Well, then you can... W <laughs> I respect it. I fucking like it. Yeah, I like it. I think, but see, that guy can wear that hat. Do Wait, you why I mean? can he wear it? Because look at his hair. Okay, look at the hair to hat ratio. It kind of <laughs> pokes out like all cute, right? Like, and then he, look at his cute little bracelets. See, he's got like this... Show us your bracelets, like your string. Oh, no, it's, it's just a, a watch. Thought, okay, well, I thought... You, you ever know, seen a watch before? Shut up. Shut look up. at my cute little bracelet right Shh. here. God, do you, you know look, words? You look like um, like Isaac Brock from Modest Mouse. Like you've got that kind of Isaac Brock thing. Yeah. Dude, See? she's basically like hitting hip. on you. This is, un this is uncomfortable. Yeah, man. I'm real fucking hot for teacher dudes. Me, me and that two year old that I have with that? you. I'm, hold on, let me take off my matching jacket, weirdo. We're not matching. Totally, it's so embarrassing. What are you talking about? They're different colors. Well, you have a pattern. I put, I put mine on first, and then you put yours on. But then w it's shiny. We look like a dorky couple. <laughs> we look like a matching mom jacket team. I don't, I don't know what you're fucking talking about right hey, now. Hey, you know when you tell me to eat the scrum? Yeah. What is that? The what scrum. Do you, mean? you say, eat the scrum. It means eat my ass. <laughs> but where did you come up with that? I don't know. <laughs> I think I heard someone say it, and I was like, yeah, I should say that, too. It's the best. He'll bend over. We'll be, like, in our room. 
like at night and he'll be in his boxer shorts just randomly and then he'll bend over and be like when are you gonna eat the scrum <laughs> and i'm like what but i thought it might be a fisherman's term i is think that it is fisher- I think Arr, you got to eat the scrum matey no is this your lady here no, you guys are friends. Okay. No, I'm not friends. You ever go fishing with them? <laughs> you, you catch what? the big fish. You Shit. catch big fish? What do you oh, mean? Do you should. go deep sea fishing? Okay. Uh, where do you go? Really? Yeah, Mexican water, she says. Wow. Get the, those big the, taco do, fish. Do those fish give you diarrhea? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Where, uh, how big of a boat do you have to go on to, to, go, to get big fish down there? Yeah, don't you have to go on a decent-sized boat? Wait, are you a... Does the more money you have? She's saying that you have to have a lot of money. Oh, no, I, I have, like, millions of dollars. I'm asking, like... <laughs> oh, my God. What? You go on the big boats. Oh, you mean because you have to go with other people. Ugh, no, I would go, like, on... <laughs> You're getting more and more elitist in your old age. Ugh. Other you, people? Blech. Gosh. No, so how many people do you have to go with, though? She says 70 70? People. Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. What size boat is that? You don't know? She you have no idea? She cares for the fish. You don't drive it? <laughs> okay, all right. God. Okay, Captain. Okay, is, All this, right. is this the fishing podcast, or are we going to talk about yeah. stuff that really matters? Let's keep it fishy. So, Eat the scrum. Eat the scrum. You should eat my scrum. Is the scrum your taint? Is that what you're asking? Sure. It's all that. Why don't you just get up in there and do it all? <laughs> Let me tell you something. If I were the girl that did eat your scrum, yep. you would never marry me. Like... That girl is the dirty girl. That's cool. It's not. That's a nasty girl who eats the scrum. What are you talking about? No, it's not. Fisher lady, would you eat his scrum? <laughs> Hell no. No, that's just for hoes. What if it was like, what that's if just the, the two of you and it's on a little boat? A little boat? <laughs> that's you got all this money guy. now and you got all the fish like kind of flipping around and they're like, they're, wet, they're gasping their last breath of air <laughs> the mood is set what Ugh. yeah all right all right um ready let's open the show the right yeah, way normal chicks don't all right here we go let's scrums. do it here we go i have five thousand ounces of my breast milk store in my freezer my name is elizabeth i am a mass milk producer this is the who is randy don't bring anyone love into this Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Thank you for coming out tonight to the Sperm Vine Improv here in Sperm City, California. Um, appreciate you guys coming out, giving us your Sunday evening. A lot has going has happened this week. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. People have died. Oh fuck, Tom. What? You had to bring that up. What? You want me to act like they're not dead now? <sighs> Tom Petty's dead. Oh. Yep. That's that's it. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie May died. No, uh, that sucks. we liked Ralphie. He was, and you know what was uh, about cool about Ralphie is that he was legit a nice human being, and in our business, that is really fucking rare. Like he was always kind, no matter what, right? Like he yeah. was never shitty to anybody. Super sweetheart. I'd run into him sometimes on the road. Uh, 
I ran into him in radio stations a couple times. Yeah, like, like six in the morning. In yep. Nice. Always the nicest guy. Really sweet guy. Um, sucks. It really does suck. You I know. know. I mean, he was like, uh, he was almost as fat as Bert. And then... <laughs> Uh, to see him go like that, it's just unexpected. I think, did Bert comment on the Instagram post you made where you were like, rest in peace, Ralphie, and then you put a picture of Bert? Yeah. <laughs> he, uh... He wrote back, he wrote... <laughs> Ralphie didn't write to me. Bert wrote back to me. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, Ralphie, by the way, if you knew him, he loved when people went in hard on jokes. Loved yeah. it. Loved like hardcore like social media jokes he loved that shit like if you hit like a raw joke if it was a good joke he loved it so i, I knew i my feeling was that he would you know he would like it yeah but uh yeah <laughs> bert bert wrote to me today he goes that post was hilarious the post was hilarious so uh. yeah like, you know but that i you know good impression yeah. <laughs> He told, um, he, I heard him tell this story. This was just one thing, we'll, we'll leave it. But like, Bert was telling the story on Diaz's podcast the other day. They did, they did a podcast right after the night that Ralphie died. Yeah. And Bert was telling the story, but like, you know, especially for like such the story guy, he got his own story wrong. Because I was watching, I was like, I wonder if he's going to tell this story. And they, he told the story about how they went on a trip together. And uh, I think it was Atlantis in the Bahamas. And so Ralphie was headlining and Bert was opening all week. It was like a, you know, a big I don't, radio station sponsored thing. And Ralphie had been, you know, big headliner for a few years. So he bought every meal, right? All week. I remember this. And the yeah. last, so this is like Great when we story. used to go over to the Kreischer's house when I was an open, like I would be like opening for Bert, who was then opening for someone else. So we all, we definitely had no money. We were fishing with lots of people. And we were like, <laughs> we would, uh, we, uh, uh, so we went over there, and, uh, and Bert's like, oh, my God. And he, and he was like, we got, he, was, he pulled me aside. He's like, I got a big fight with Leanne this week. And I was like, what <laughs> happened? And he goes, well, we're in the Bahamas. Ralphie's buying us lunch and dinner every day, rest, nice restaurants. So the last day I go, we're taking you to dinner. And Ralphie's like, all right, player, that's cool. <laughs> and he's like, where do you want to go? And Ralphie's like, sushi. And then, you know. Bert's like, fuck. Because, <laughs> cause like, to even to anybody goes, I want to go to sushi, usually it implies you're going to be spending a little more. You know, because sushi lot. date that, is that going to be more. That is the most expensive thing. Yeah. Like, right? you know, amongst. So then he's like, yeah. all right. He's like, yeah, it's on me. They get there, and, he, and I go, so how much does he, how much sushi does he get? He goes, dude, it's just like fucking boat after boat. They just <laughs> bring boats, and, and Ralphie's so high that, like, <laughs> So, like, he, Ralphie, he's eating more than he normally would eat. Um. And he goes, and he was, he's so high that he would, like, dip out. <laughs> and then come to and be like, oh, shit, I forgot about this shit. Yeah, play like that. <laughs> and then he's like, like, after four boats <laughs> come in, he's like, fuck, we're fucked. <laughs> you know? And then, you know, he just keep ordering, keep ordering, and then he goes, that bill comes. And he says it on that show, but he, the bill comes in, it was $1,200. Which and is, a, and, and you and I have done a lot of damage at sushi. Never done I that. Mean, no, not never that done that. I mean, even at, like, Nobu, like, the yeah. nice fucking... No. And we eat a lot of fucking sushi. I know. I've never heard of... I mean, and then he said that Ralph was like, you should let me pay. You should let me pay, man. Aww. And so, Leanne, the, the, the reason they got in the fight is that Leanne's like... How much is it? And Bert goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it was, I think the bill was what he was getting paid to, to open that week. <laughs> oh, God. Lesson learned, dude. Lesson learned. Don't take Don't that take size guy. of a person out to dinner. Oh. And <laughs> no, but Ralphie was great. Rest in peace, Ralphie yeah. May. Sweet guy. And then that other, and then uh, the, that piece of shit, Hugh Hefner died. He died. That I don't like him. Guy. Here's why. That I'll tell you amazing. why. <laughs> this guy's so upset. That took his breath away. He was like, Christina. <laughs> I know. Okay, well, here's why. Look, here, here's my thoughts on... on Jews. <laughs> Jews. That was from his uh, eulogy right that there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's, what's her name? Holly Robinson's? Yeah. Was it Holly? No, Holly no. Madison. <laughs> Holly Robinson. 
Jackson was on like 21 Jump Street. <laughs> Here's why. I, I feel like those girls, first of all, you didn't get paid shit to do that magazine. You lived in the house. You bunked with like four other chicks, right? You yeah. get paid, I don't know, what was the stipend a week to it live? It wasn't a lot. I know it the whole thing lot. was like, you're not, you're not going to make... The, <laughs> the thing was you didn't get tons of money. It no. was the prestige made the money. of being... Uh, the you know the playboy living in the house and being lifestyle and and being around him and you know being seen with him it right was, right that okay. was so here's you... the thing so then you get summoned to his room and old wrinkled nuts is in his fucking silk PJs and then we gotta watch a movie together and then you guys gotta make out while I jerk off and then I gotta butt fuck because he was butt fucking people because he didn't want to get how do you know this because bitch I read all this shit on the internet. <laughs> Because I'm fascinated by it. I'm fascinated by it. So here's Wait, my point. Who was like, and then he butt fucked everybody? Everybody knows. I've he never would, heard that. No, he would butt sex a lot of the girls because he didn't want to have babies. It yeah. was on Stern. Some, one of them was on Stern. Anyway, I always liked Larry Flint more because I felt like it was more honest. Like there was no this, was. none of this horse shit. Come live in the mansion in this. It was yeah. like, spread it. Yeah. Yeah, Larry Flint was show, like, yeah, show your me see yeah. that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> show me your clam. I can't Here's see your, money. your ovaries yeah. yet. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and, and it was always this ruse of like, this is classy. Like, no, it's, dude, no. fucking, look, bro. Like, it's a jack mag, and that's fine, but just be a fucking jizz rag. I still like, remember that, like, you know, Playboy was so much more popular and as a kid, we would get our hands on a Playboy and be like, whoa, like this is wild, you know? Like right, the naked right. girl and you'd see like bush and tits. And then like that first time you see a hustler and you're like, what the fuck right. is going on? Right. Like this is the real shit right here. That's what's I've been fucking up. around with the JV squad. Right. Right, dude. It's like you ate a Del Taco your whole life, and then you go to Taco Bell. And you're That's like, not so much the better. analogy I was going with at all. <laughs> okay, it's like McDonald's and In-N-Out. Is that the analogy? I mean, I guess. You yeah, like Taco I like Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah, it's way better than Del Taco. I would say, yeah, dude. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Nasty Irvine. Wow. Okay, on the fast food chain. I'd, I'd, I'd go retarded. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. Dude, but on the, the on the totem pole of fast food restaurants, there's nothing lower than Del Taco Bros. Wow. In LA, Arby's is Arby's. dog shit. <laughs> Worse than yes. Del Taco? Arby's is foul, man. Really? I've, I've, I've met somebody who told really? me that, uh, that they worked at Arby's and like in their, <laughs> when they had slow times, they would take that roast beef and throw it on the wall. No! And that it would just stick there. It would never slide down the wall. It's foul uh. shit. Don't fuck with Arby's. But then again, Taco Bell, ugh. I like, love it! Taco I like Bell, the flavors. fuck you up, man. That make you sick. It makes ugh. you so sick. But I like the, um, so just like the ratio, of like the, sh the shell is crunchy and then the sour cream. The meat is dog shit, but the flavor is nice. Now, the, the where do you rank, this is funny, I never, Go for it. I never had this conversation until I was working in LA for a while at this post house with like some, some, <laughs> some pretty rough characters. And, yeah. and they brought, I, I would say like, oh, let's go to In-N-Out, thinking like everybody loves In-N-Out. And these guys would be like, In-N-Out's for bitches. And I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> and they're like, fat burger, that's for men eat. And I was like, Fabber's what good. is happening right now? And they were like, you like In-N-Out because of that sauce? And I was like, yeah. it's fresh and delicious. And they're like, because you a bitch. <laughs> Are you a fuck boy? Yeah, yeah that's kind of what they were saying. <laughs> fuck boy? I don't know. Fat burger was good. But I, I like guess. fat burger, but I, it was had that weird spice to it. There was like relish yeah, and then something there. spicy yeah, 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 on yeah. there. Do you guys like fat burger? Yeah. yeah, that shit's good. Who likes In and Out though? Yeah. See, I'd rather roll with you bitches and go to In and Out. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about the In and Out all yeah, day. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, it is the sauce. It's just Thousand Island with relish in it, right? Whatever it is, yeah, keep fucking, fucking making it because it's good. <laughs> Could you imagine, just back to Hugh Hefner for a minute. Sucking on that D? Yeah, dude, like, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. Like, free room and board ain't worth it, dude. Yeah. Right? I'd rather, would I don't you know, suck though. Hefner's dick? Would you? Yeah. 
The yeah, exposure? Yeah, good exposure. Especially well, also, let's... here's the thing. You got to take yourself to being like 21, you know? Like well, what's the exposure lead to? Okay, so Jenny McCarthy, I'd say she's like the most famous, right? Who else? Who's, who's, like a, who's a respectable star that came out? I'm being legit serious. I don't know. Anna Anna Nicole. Anna Nicole, very reputable. Yes. Nobel laureate. Pamela Anderson. Pa An another. No, you could be that She's one in 20,000. There Good. you go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's, it could work it's out. It's a tough racket. You know, I think I, I knew this girl from Road Rules. She posed in it because at one point they offered it to a lot of people, not me, but to. And, um, and they didn't was, have fucking pages big enough for those tits. That's probably why. <laughs> that's right. They'd be like, well, there'll be one tit over here, and then when they flip it, you'll see yeah. the other tit. Oh, my. Especially now. Holy shit. Uh, but she was the like. special mom tits issue. Mom tits. Yeah. <laughs> Purple nips. Um, but this girl was like, I go, I go so, dude, you, you did it. Did you tell your dad? And she goes, yeah, he was, like, real proud. He took a bunch of copies to his work and gave it out to his employees. I was all, oh. <laughs> That's so weird. I know somebody, not with that scenario, but somebody who has uh, a daughter in a movie, and it's not a porn, but the daughter is naked <laughs> in the movie, and he's like, you see that movie with my daughter? And he's like, dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> She's really good in it. He's like, I'm so proud. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Would you ever date your mom? Great, yeah, date your mom. <laughs> She's got nice nips. Oh, your no. Daughter. It's so weird. God, but then I think, like, my dad's going to watch my Netflix thing and be like, Tuesday. Her special comes out I didn't Tuesday. Even thank you. Thank you. But thank you, guys. You're very sweet to clap. But imagine. Do you like the tits? <laughs> go but, see Christina do a stand up. Fuck now off. we're talking. There you go. But on some level, my dad's got to be like, oh, my God. I can't believe this is my fucking daughter, you know? You think so? Oh, I'm talking about all crazy shit on stage. Like, ah, ah, like. Wait, what was that? What was that oh, line? Yeah. That's what you're talking about? Yeah, dude. For Sucking the hour? Dicks and stuff. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's all it is. An hour of dick sucks. Is that what it's called? Yeah. One hour of dick sucks? <laughs> That's your next hour, dude. I haven't named mine yet. I know. Yeah. Lick the chum. Scrum the chum. Scrum the chum. Eat, Eat the my scrum. scrum. Scrum the chum. Fucking <laughs> okay, whatever. Eat, Anyways. eat my scrum. Um, do you want to get to the breast milk lady real quick? <sighs> All right. I she, like it because it seems like it bothers you. She's nasty as hell. So <laughs> she is. says she has 5,000 ounces <laughs> of breast milk in her fridge. That's so much. It's so hard to make that much for me anyway. It's, How long would that take you? That would take me a year. I didn't make a lot. When I was doing it, it was so hard. Like, just four ounces was a little like, hard for Let's me. Let's see what's up with this tit situation. Hold on. I have hyperlactation syndrome. My oh. body makes <laughs> 1.75 gallons a day. I have donated <laughs> 700 gallons of my excess breast milk. That's twice the world record. Wait. Did you hear that? Yeah. 1.75 gallons a day. That's a lot of tits. Fuck. Dude, her titties ain't even that big. Like, mine are big. Mm. Huh, shit. I could, I could deal with these tits. <laughs> they're like hungry tits. No, the they're is, not. No, that's a lot. But if she's giving it to, to women who can't make breast milk, that's kind of good. No, Some she's just selling can't. it to dudes that want to pay for it. She's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you like big tits? Yeah. There's somebody out but there. It is not fun. My breasts wake me up in the morning because they're screaming. Please do something about that. That's ter yeah, it's, that's terrible. Ooh, it's, it's that must be what my nuts feel like sometimes, you know? <laughs> sometimes I wake up like, oh, God. Is that right? Wake up, wake up. Is that's that what right? it, yeah. <laughs> That's what you, that's when you're like, what? I'm trying to sleep. That's what it is. The same burden that this woman has. Uh, do and you I try to donate it as much as I can. <laughs> do you but think if we could pump your dick milk that you could... How much could you produce is what I'm asking. Not 1.75 <laughs> gallons a day. How about one gallon a day? <laughs> of course not. Of course not. I mean, I'm not talking out of turn. You've discussed this in, in public. You make yeah. a lot. Like right. you, You're a high producer, as Yoshi would say, a strong performer. Very, very strong performer. Would you say you could do like a half a pint a day? No. <laughs> do 
you realize how... <laughs> like, am I 16 in this scenario? It is crazy to think about how, like, in, back then, as a teenager, so 20 years ago, yeah. you could be like, do you want to try to do seven today? I'd be like, all right. And, <laughs> and I'd still be like, let's go shoot hoop. Like, I'd be all right. So and what's, now, what would happen now if you tried to crank out seven? No. There's, what? What? No. Like, <laughs> it's not happening. No. It's not happening at all? No. Would definitely you, not. <laughs> could, what's that? For cum- for cu- do it for gum cum gum? gum? All right. That is such a good business that never took off, is cum gum. You remember like the chewels that you, or tidal wave gum, you'd bite it in the middle and then it would burst liquid flavor. It would have all the different ethnicities, you know? I mean, it's like, we need more diversity. And that's what, it'd be like, oh, th- what about Indian guys? And you'd pop one in your mouth, and you're like, ah, oh, that's what that tastes like, like that. <laughs> See, I don't think the audience is really excited about They're it. They're not into it. No, I think now there's no way, there's no way, there's no way close to that. Seven, seven milks? Nope. Six? Nope. Five? Four I don't milks. think so. Four would be like, if you were like, I don't know, if you're like, if you don't, then somebody's going to get a bullet in the head right now. I'd be like, all right, all right, all right. But that would be it. And then I'd be like, I need to go to the hospital, I need an IV, I need like, that would really be maxing it out. What were we watching last night? We were talking about old dudes. Oh, oh yeah, the, the, the Versailles guy. The Queen of Versailles. That, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, long story. This old-ass motherfucker was, how old is he, 78 or something? He's, <laughs> fucking, he's up there, yeah. And he, he's, still, he's still horny. You know, he's still he's giving, so like, shoulder rubs to strange girls and flirting girls with and every shit. chick, yeah. You're it's like, weird. at what point does that stuff taper off? Like, I would think that that's what's so freeing for a guy to get old and, like, that you're just like, oh, yeah, it, it doesn't really affect me anymore. <laughs> the like power just, is, the pussy power. Is gone. It, yeah. Yeah, like we're like, drive. a woman could be like, hey, and you'd be like, I'm reading the paper, I don't give a shit. You know, like, <laughs> I would think that would be exciting, but he's still like 100%. And she's talking about it. His wife was like, oh, I got to fuck him all the time. <laughs> she's like 40 years younger than him, and he's like, hurry up, get over here. <laughs> It's wild. It man. is. It is. I, I almost think he has to be manipulating that, like he's doing something to cause that at his age. Viagra, like dr- drugs. Yeah. yeah, drugs. Some yeah. type of testosterone treatment. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Some uh, injection. He's way shit. too horny for an old guy. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. It's fucking. It's weird. fucking weird, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna try to start this jizz business, but uh, <laughs> I thought you might want to know that. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Um, do you want to see this girl? Trying to drink vinegar? Oh, well, they can't see it. Oh, well, you can hear Good it. Good morning. <laughs> We're hitting on day three. Day three. Now, somebody has told me to try this. They told me apple cider vinegar and some water. So, with that said, let's go. So, she's trying to do this as like an idea of uh, like a health regimen. Sure. You know? Yeah, like it's very apple healthy. Apple cider vinegar. Now, I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard it's good for you. I've it's... heard don't do it. Yeah, just don't, hey, don't do it. We can try something. I'm sure one shot of this won't kill me, right? No. Let's do it. It's not going to kill you. Oh, 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 this smell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Doesn't smell good. And let's see what happens. Oh, <clears> my God. What the fuck? I don't even think this should be in nobody's body. And don't Here drink it, dummy. Okay, what so are you now, doing? She's taking it in. Here we go. And... (laughs) Okay, it's over. It's over now. It's over. It is over. It's over. You know what, Tom? When I was a little girl, <laughs> yeah, I used to love eating my boogers. Oh God. Ugh. Did you guys ever eat your boogers? Ugh. Let's I know be what honest. she's doing right now. When you were little, and I used okay. to love the ones. Okay. When I dig really, and they were like. <laughs> Crunchy on the end, but then like scraggly. Ugh. Ugh. You're fucking nasty as you hell. You never ate that? 
You are so nasty. Why would you do that? It's oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Stop it! Okay. All right, it's over. It's over. It's over. I no, promise. it's not. It is. Right. I closed it. It's over. You swear? Yes, it's over. It's You're over. You're the worst. <laughs> uh, I hate barfing. You know. I know. That was the Thanks fun part. Thanks for doing that. <sighs> All right. You guys want to do a new segment? So, uh, I forget, oh, we were, t- we were in the Starbucks, and um, there was this fucking weird beard on his computer, uh, just b- with his feet up on the furniture, like, barefoot. Like, yeah, like, this is my house, fuck it. Like, no, it's not, dude. And so we were thinking, like, that's so fucking nasty, dude, right? Like, can we agree that that's all, that is fucking nasty? But then there's stuff that I feel like is kind of borderline. So I got this email. This guy's from Finland. He says, I'm recently hanging out with a bunch of friends with the dis- when a discussion turned to pissing in the shower. My friends were sharing stories of how good it feels to let it splash when taking a shower. I immediately expressed my disgust, but was left completely alone with my stance on the matter. Turns out all my friends dabble in shower pissing, <laughs> and they made me feel like the weird one for not mixing golden showers with regular ones. Am I in the wrong here? Tell me, guys. Is this yes. nasty or not? Yeah. Yeah, right? You're fucking weird, man. Of course. Who doesn't pee Wait, in the shower? Do you actually... Is anyone here actually... Are you ever in the shower, go, I have to pee, and then be like, well, I'm just going to get out now and use the toilet. <laughs> like, does somebody do that? That's crazy. You do? Is that a man or a woman? Woman? Wait, why wouldn't you just go in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. You know, you can just, there's a drain. Do you not pee in a drain? You can't do it? Wow. But the wow. urine kills the bacteria on your feet. <laughs> How many of you pee in the shower? It's crap. Yeah. How many of you don't pee in the shower? Wow. Wow. Imagine how upset you would be if you were showering with your significant other and then you just saw like an orange stream come out. It'd be the, it'd be the end of the relationship, right? Just stab with a fucking shampoo bottle. and That's nasty. I you pee it, on me all the time. Oh, I hate yeah. it. That's fun when you're like, oh, I like it hot. And you're like, hey, that's real hot. What's that? And it always smells like coffee, too. <clears throat> okay, what about, is this nasty or not? Because you just did this last night. Farting on the dog's head. Because <laughs> here's the thing, it's kind of nasty, but then it's funny. So the funny kind of outweighs the nasty. Yeah, and like, we have two dogs, and one of them's into it, and one of them's not. So... <laughs> Thief hates farts. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He's like, ugh, farts are gross. But then Bitsy's like, I like it. So it works. I know. The feet on the furniture thing That's is nasty. crazy in public. Yeah. Or in somebody else's place. You know, like right. if you go to someone else's house, the fuck are you doing, man? Like, bro, bro. That's no, you doing your own shit. One time in college, I had a fucking, like a friend of a friend come over to my dorm room and she was wearing her shoes. She laid on my bed and put her nasty shoes on my pillow, no. bro. Yes. When people have shoes on, uh, like on the bed, Negative. makes me crazier yeah, than no any good. barefoot. Like with your shoe that you walk That's around in and fun. you're on like the bedspread, crazy. That's Absolutely nasty, crazy. So. I had somebody who brought their girl uh, to a show and I'm eating in the green room on the, and it's on the, you know, like on the coffee table. Yeah. And she goes, do you mind? And put her feet up on the counter. Uh-uh, bro. And I was in such shock. I was like, are you... Like, is this, are you testing me right now? Do you like, mind? Like, she had to put them up, you know? I was like, this is fucking wild, man. That's like, nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. And he doesn't open for me anymore. No. So, <laughs> All right, what about blowing your nose in the shower? Yeah. That's cool, right? That's normal. Yeah, that's not nasty at all. That's Wait, normal. does somebody not do that? Clap if you don't blow your nose in the shower. <laughs> yeah, see... You guys That's are the, the freaks. That's the best place to do it. Yeah, where else are you supposed to do that shit? It's, and then you like you have that guessing game. You're like, is it in my beard? Is it not? Like, <laughs> it's always in your beard, by the way. 
That's nasty. Okay, what about being barefoot on an airplane? Oh, man. That's nasty as fuck, right? It's unacceptable. When they put it up on your armrest? Oh, man. I did one of these once where I did the... I, I knocked it over, and I was like, oh, my bad. You know, like, I hit, them, hit the elbow with it. That's yeah, fucking that's crazy. Disgusting. Okay, what about cutting your nails in public? Soup. That's no, dude. Nasty as hell. That's yeah. super nasty. That's you, okay. That might be the top that's nastiest That's really shit. nasty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What about painting your nails in public? I feel no, that's like that's fine. permissible. That's not that's nasty. That's not that nasty. No. Okay, I've done, all, like, I've done like almost all of these. Um, b- putting on deodorant in public. That's nasty, but I've done it. Uh, yeah, but I think that's one of those things you do, but you try to not make it a public affair. You're not like, check this shit out. You know, right, like, right, right. You're just like, I got to do this, and you, you try to conceal it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Right? Isn't yes, that how you yes. do it? Here's what I used to do for my first years in comedy. I would be so nervous and sweaty that I would have comedy deodorant like in my car, so when I'd roll up to like the Laugh Factory, I would fucking reach on the side pocket and put deodorant like extra on. All yeah, the time. I mean, that's I not that nasty. I don't right? think that's super nasty. Yeah. No. Nah, it's not like, that bad. I've never, I don't smell, so I've never had that issue. Oh, stop. Now, what about spitting in public? Spitting? But culturally, like, Asian cultures do it, and it's fine. Just all of the Asian world? No. Chinese people spit on the, all over the place. Oh. No, it's true. I had a Chinese ex-boyfriend, and he would tell me all the time. They spit everywhere. I think spitting, like, spitting's one of those things where, like, sometimes you have to do it. I feel like it's not as nasty if you at least make an effort to spit on grass or bush, like something, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But if you're like, oh, here's the fucking concrete. That's the like, difference. You're a piece of shit, you know? Yeah. Like, and also some people, like, I've, I've, been, I've been out to lunch with people who you walk out of the restaurant and they're like, yeah, so we should. Yeah. And then you're like, I want to be like, fuck you, dude. This is our last lunch. We're not doing this again. It's gross. That's the nastiest. The hawking. That's super nasty. Yeah, that's nasty. Some of y'all is nasty as hell. There you go. All right, that's all I got. What about your booger thing? What about the boogers? You started with boogers. Well, picking your nose in the car. In your own car. First of all, everybody picks. Don't act like you don't pick. Everybody picks. The car's the best place to pick. And then what's your technique? Because I like to go... Oh, my God. That one's the (laughs) good And then if he I don't does. get it, then I wipe it like that. But you do that in my car, too. That's the fucking problem. I do it in your car. You're I also like, sneeze on you. Yeah, I know. That's really fun when you feel it coming. And you sneeze have the, tech. You know, here you go. Oh, shit, here it comes. And then You're you go. the worst. Ah, and yeah. you finish like that. I love that. I know. Thanks. You're super nasty. Mm-hmm. Um, so you didn't like the thing. No, so, I, that barfing stuff didn't really put me in a good place. Didn't put you in a good place. Please don't do it again. Do you, I'm not doing it. Um, so we, we people asked. They asked about uh, how how a blind person. <laughs> yeah, I love these. A lot of blind questions, but how they pick up dog shit. Yeah. Right. And a blind person actually told us about Shut it. Shut up. Yeah. Told a lot of people. Okay, here okay. we go. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video. And in case you didn't know. I'm blind, and I have been a guide dog user for more than 10 years now. Wow. Okay, so we have... Um, She's very attractive. She is. She doesn't even know that, though. But <laughs> I have had a lot of experience picking up and, you know, dealing with dog poop. And a lot of people seem to be really curious about this topic. <laughs> and then in terms of picking it up, guide dog schools train you on on how to deal with it. But for the most part, guide dog Uh, schools, at least the school I went to, the Mira Foundation, train the dog to go on concrete because the poop is easier to find on concrete than it is to find in grass. And... Wow. She goes, ew. Dogs are amazing. And then on top of that, they train the dogs to typically hover over where they've gone to the washroom. And then what you do is you put the bag on your hand, you touch your dog's back, um, and if it's not trained to hover, then you just touch it while it's still going. Wow! Isn't and that amazing that dogs can learn to do trace, all that stuff? You trace over it. That's so cool. And you put your hand over top of the dog's back with the bag on, and you essentially like feel down to the ground. So right wow. off the end of the dog and to the floor where the poop. And then... Poop. Because your dog has moved... You still know the general area that your dog was standing because you're holding the leash and you're right there when it's 
going. And so at that point you feel around for the heat. I know that sounds disgusting. And oh. awful. There you go. That's my least favorite part about cleaning up dog poop. Is the, the heat? heat in the bag when you're like, oh, it's fresh. Actually, that's what I get. I get a thrill out of that. I was like, <laughs> like I feel alive. I know the dog's alive. Yeah. And I'm like, you're like fresh out of the oven. Fresh out of there. It's just yeah. like brownies or cookies. You know, you just. <laughs> it's a good time. But that's how blind people uh, know. Isn't that it's pretty fascinating. Well, we've got some other fascinating uh, questions here. Yeah. Okay. Tell me one. <laughs> Um, well, here's a since we're on the blind one, let's go there. Yeah. Um, with all the blind questions coming in, this person writes, um, with Bart himself, I was wondering if blind people really can get a full grasp on how fat Bert truly is. <laughs> that is a really good question. I guess if they met him, they would know. They would know. Yeah, they would just go like, But they wouldn't know just by hearing him. Hey, I'm Bert. Okay. <laughs> they wouldn't know. This one's about back to retarded people because we've been really <sighs> curious retarded. about them. Okay. This is the best. This comes in from Niall da Dowd. Okay. He writes, do retarded people have an inner voice that's retarded? <laughs> <laughs> it's not very nice. <laughs> But it's a so, thought provoker. You don't know. That's maybe true. because maybe in here it's it's like how I'd think, and then and then it comes out. So is that inner voice like, man, you should go get that candy right fucking now, <laughs> or is it like you're gonna go over it like that? I know we didn't write it. Somebody else wrote it. <laughs> I don't know. More chocolate. More chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's a really good question. And then you asked today. God, that's such a fucking mean <laughs> thought. Do, and then you, you were like, do retarded people have certain jokes that on, like they really like to tell? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, comics find certain things funny amongst comics. Do retarded people amongst themselves? And I thought, like, oh, yeah, those are knock-knock jokes, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, or, like, dad jokes. Yeah. I don't know. I think, uh, like, it could be their own wheelhouse is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, <laughs> like I'm sure pilots have their own lingo about like yeah, <laughs> the fucking wind shear. Oh, but they don't. But you're, <laughs> I mean, you're like, saying that. Do you think retarded people tell jokes about retarded people? No. Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah, of course. You don't think so? I don't know. I guess. Yeah, definitely. All right. I, I, I just wish I knew some retarded people I could ask. <laughs> That's just one of your fascinations right now. Okay. You're like, man, I wish. Well, I do. I mean, the world is such a curious place. This. There's so many things to be. They curious have to be about. joking about certain things. Okay. Well, that only they get. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Like within their own context. For like sure. Snack time or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I don't like know enough about them. shared experiences. Right. Like, nah, snacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was actually being serious. I didn't mean that. And like, uh, You're right. Yeah, naps, I don't know. Snacks. Fucking snacks. Yeah, they like yeah. Sna I like snacks, too. Sitting in your, in your dookie. All that stuff. No. Oh, Tom. Okay. L moving along. Masturbating uh, seven times okay. a day as an adult. <laughs> That's who we get to do the cum milk business. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> now you're thinking. Wait, is that the other? Do you have the other uh, retarded thing you mentioned? Which one? This one? About, about, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you read it? <laughs> so people don't just hate you as much? Yeah. <laughs> Becoming very unlikable today. So it says, if you would read the full email, it says, Hey, Hitler <laughs> and Water Champ Tommy. <clears throat> I laid awake pondering the idea that if two retarded people had a child, could she or, or he be... Don't assume the gender. Right. Could they be not retarded? How would their upbringing, upbringing be? Do they become retarded because of how they see their parents act? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. You never told me it said that. It's Jesus. like an, a nature-nurture question. It's a valid... Well, that's an interesting thing. Okay, now hold on. Let's follow the way. <laughs> oh, man. That is Sean from well, New Jersey. You're a fucking piece of shit, John, but that's pretty funny. First of all, let's get this out of the way. I don't think, and I'm not uh, an expert, but I don't think that, like, I know two dwarfs yes. can produce a non dwarf. Exactly. Child. Exactly. I don't think two mentally, uh, uh, like, two people with Down syndrome can, can have somebody, I don't even know if they can conceive together, period, but I definitely don't think they could conceive That's like true. somebody who are, comes out like, what's up with you guys? I don't think that would happen. Because are they, I, do they're reproductive? Are they sterile? Yeah, yeah, I think I don't so. Know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like it's like in math, two negatives make a positive. Oh, maybe. man. I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, let's. Let's posit this theory. Okay, let's say they do have like a non. A non what the fucking word? What's the PC shit to say now? A non challenged. <laughs> A non mentally yeah. challenged person, but then you were raised by two mentally challenged people, yeah. <laughs> and that's all you knew. Like, it would be like, like, would you? you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, you want to come over for dinner? And like, what do you have? And you're like, strawberry jam. Like that. So like that. <laughs> Stuff like that. Right. Right. Like, what else? You're like, I'm on chocolate, strawberry right. jam. Because <laughs> there's stories of like. Russian children being raised by feral wolves or something. Oh and then my God. the next <laughs> Yeah, this is very possible. This is a good theory. <laughs> so you're saying then then the able bodied and right. minded yes. person might just grow up to be like, Hi everybody like that. If they were raised exclusively by mentally challenged people, they yeah. might yes, nature nurture, dude. Uh, we well, let's put a call out there to our <laughs> audience. If you've seen that scenario take place in life, we'd love to hear more about it. It's a good idea, Gene. Mm -hmm. Well, we're two special people. And we we very much are. Who okay. knows how our kid's going to turn out. Oh, right now. Let's move on to uh, another important uh, thought provoker. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this one makes me laugh. This is from a girl, Gianna. She writes, Dear Mommies, I eat like shit and I'm constantly having diarrhea. <laughs> But we'll do nothing to change my habits because <laughs> because one, I really like bread, and two, I think diarrhea is the only way I remain skinny. <laughs> what is your opinion on this? Could this be true? Does diarrhea keep me skinny? <laughs> Dirty bitch. Yeah. I mean, uh, okay, at first you're like, that's stupid. But then if you think about it, if you think about it, of course the diarrhea is keeping her skinny. It's helping. It's yeah. definitely helping. Because <laughs> if you think back, all those drugs, like Fen-Fen, didn't that give you diarrhea or something back in the 90s? I know I had lobster or Olean, one time. those chips. Olean. The Olean chips would give you diarrhea and you wouldn't digest it and that would keep you skinny. So I'm going to go, yeah. I got food poisoning from lobster. Yeah. <laughs> In high school. <laughs> yeah. And I lost 22 pounds in eight days. There you go. Yeah. You should have really done that bad. for the fat challenge. Just get, got fucking... <laughs> food poisoning. Food poisoning. Yeah. I can't believe back then when the fat challenge that we didn't do hot yoga. Because we definitely should have. It was have. a lot of weight. Yeah. It fucking sucks yeah. so much. I don't even know how you're doing it. Honestly, I fucking cry the whole time. No. I hate it. I hate exercise. I just force myself to do Pilates, but then the hot stuff, fuck that. But fucking don't hot Don't you feel stuff. like you're dying all the time? Like, don't you feel like you're going to pass out the whole Sometimes, time? Sometimes, yeah. The last 15 minutes of every class, I'm like, maybe I'll die right now. <laughs> <laughs> has anyone blacked out? Like, has anyone passed out during hot yoga? Not in the classes I've been in, but I'm sure if you were to pull a bigger group of people. That, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. one guy emailed me. He's like, I started going to... I'm only leaving class like three times in the, uh, in the 90 minutes. How about you? And I'm like, we, we don't leave at all. And he was like, oh, I don't know how that works. Well, don't you have like a, you've got a, kind of an abusive teacher, which I, I don't think you're supposed to in yoga. Oh They're not God. supposed to force you into poses and stuff, it's right? It's so like, okay, I went 10 years ago 
And when I went 10 years ago, it was like, they were like, do what you can, yeah. have water whenever you want, rest if you need, if you feel overwhelmed, it's fine. So I was like, oh, that's what this would be like. We walk in, the first time I reach for my water, the guy goes, sir! <laughs> and I was like, what? And he goes, what? we don't just take water breaks. I'll let you know when. And I was like, all wow. right. Wow. I don't like that, dude. Then we were <laughs> in a pose, and he was telling some story. And his, uh, so these two ladies were talking, and, and he, he knew one of them. He goes, Meredith, zip it. <laughs> like you're talking funny. to a little kid, you know? And I was like... That's funny. But I didn't like when he, he said, he was like, Tom, I know you can get your arms oh higher. Oh, my God. Like, that stuff's yeah, not Yeah, we're doing normal. overhead. He goes, Tom, do your arms straighten all the way out or not? <laughs> and so not I right. did it, and I, I was like... And he goes, oh, so they do? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, try to do that. <laughs> and then <laughs> there was right. a, an Indian guy named Gautam in our And he goes, Gautam, have you given up on sit-ups entirely? <laughs> and, and I'm sitting there like, my fucking, all right, man. <laughs> and then he goes, I guess sit-ups for you are like arms for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> They're not supposed to do that. The whole you know thing is not to force yourself to do what other people are doing. We just, I just fucking rolled with it. And then he, I'm just like, all right, this guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> so all these teachers, like, between poses, sometimes they'll give you, like, their own philosophy, you know? Or they'll, they'll just start talking. So, like, like, one lady was like, you know, if you smoke, you really got to think about it. <laughs> it's going to smell when you come in here, and that's something you should really give thought to. Do I want to be disrespectful to everybody else in my class? <laughs> so shit like that. So this guy, the guy that like zings, mm. he goes, uh, you know, I took my son to New York, and we were, we were, we arrived on the on the red eye. So we walked his friend to class, and after a block, his, uh, he, my son said to me, "Daddy, my legs are tired." And then he goes. And arms straight, stomach <laughs> in, legs up, da, 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 and pose up, and hold it. And so then we get into another position, and it's dead silent. Like, no one talks. But I'm just laying there, and I go, hey, what's up with the rest of that story about your son going to class? <laughs> yeah. And then I see Bert, and Bert's like, oh. <laughs> Like, it felt like fifth grade again. I was like, yeah. oh, shit, am I in trouble? And did he? Well, and he goes. Did he tell the story? He, like, turned around. He was like, What? I know you didn't finish that story. He goes, that was the end of the story. Yeah, that's we a shitty like, story. You know how to teach yoga, but your storytelling fucking sucks, man. Like, that is not the end of a story. It's not. That is not. Yeah. That is not. Uh, an email came in. Uh, it says, what's up, mamas? I've recently noticed a lot of talk about Tom's obsession with death. And I think his obsession may be cultural. Like Tom, I'm of Hispanic descent, and growing up, my mother was obsessed with murder shows. It became a family event. It was a lot of fun to guess who did it, and at the end, you got satisfaction when they got caught, even more so if you guessed the killer correctly. It was game-like. I have discussed this with some of my other Hispanic friends, and it seems to be a reoccurring trend. We have come to the conclusion that Spanish people just like to gossip and someone's death, murder, and funeral is hot gossip, or at least it was in my small Spanish community. Much love from London, Ontario. Hashtag fake London. Well, is that true? Yes. It is? I mean, I've never been around people that love gossip more than all of my, like, the Latin side of my family. They are yeah. such gossips. I don't know that they like death. But they love a, a story of like someone's downfall. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't say that it's like they're less. They're less like um, everybody loves loves gossip, you yeah. know. But like they're less ashamed of it. They're like, come here. I guess like, <laughs> it's like dinner conversation. You want to hear about you know? it? Where like my dad's side of the family would be like, they would be you know, they would pull you aside. To they're tell you that. American proper. Yeah, my yeah, family yeah. is the opposite. We we like to hear about uh, the bad news. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh fuck, yeah. did you hear about Susie? What? He has a brain tumor. He's going to die. And you're like, I don't want to fucking know that shit, dude. Does he get like, excited about so it? So and so lost his legs. No, it's like they just want to share the bad news so that you feel like shit too. Uh -oh. I feel like that's our cult. Like the Eastern Blocker shit is like we need you to be depressed too. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the um, with with my 
like the Spanish side, they're just more, they like telling you how someone fucked up. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's like, like they, yeah. yeah Especially if, if that person was feeling themselves for a second. Then they really oh. like it. Yeah. They're like, you know, so-and-so that has that nice car. Oh, shit. He lost it. It's gone now. God. It just shows you if you buy nice cars, they'll go away. You know, <laughs> things like that. Don't try. It's all like Catholic guilt stuff. Yeah. 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 Like you, you thought you were better than us. Yeah, well, yeah. you're not. Remember yeah. how so-and-so had two homes? He can't afford it anymore. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> like, that's nice. That's so funny. Yeah. That's yeah. totally. Yeah, I know. I think ours would just like the bummer of it. Yeah. Do you want to hear a completely, so we've always, you know, we've featured um, like vocal fry, yep. um, different, different speech patterns on this show, you know? Megan and I have been together for nearly three years. She's a beautiful girl. Who I Whatever, dude. Um, yeah. Never met a guy that sp speaks like that. There's another guy who's doing YouTube videos about all kinds of shit. But listen, this is one of the most unique speech patterns I've ever heard that I can't, like, it doesn't even add up what this dude, how, where he learned to speak is what I'm fascinated <laughs> with. Texas has really been on my mind a lot lately, and I wanted to honor this state in my own way with a countdown. I respectfully dedicate this list to everyone who has been affected by Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> he might have grown up with two retarded parents. Yeah! Actually. There's our theory in motion. Nailed right. it. And, and hurricane. Are like, Why do you talk like that? He's like, Why do I talk like what? Uh, hurricane Harvey. I mean, seriously. You know what it kind of sounds like? You know, like those early, like remember how Stephen Hawking used to talk in his robot voice? Like, Gosh. I can't see all the flowers in the uh, uh, like that's like he learned from a robot. You think? Yeah. It sounds like it, it's like <laughs> one of those people is like. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, Stop there's, smoking. Oh, there is nothing more terrifying than that. Yeah, that is that the fucking one. scariest thing ever. We gotta ever. play that daily for our son. Yes. Like, like right around fifth grade, sixth grade, when he's yes. like, "What are cigarettes?" We'll be like, "These are cigarettes." I know. I that know. That's so fucking. Terrible. And then like for cocaine, you eat through your stomach. Oh my god. <laughs> Or like for drugs, like show show the people like their noses, you know, like and it eats through uh, your cartilage yeah. and shit. Just You're scare like, them. Here's cocaine. Yeah, listen to this, dude. This alleged ghost was caught on video <laughs> rummaging around a property of an arcade in Dallas. A the Dallas. phantom glove glides okay. over the grass uh, uh, and quickly uh. fits through an entrance way. It's pretty convincing. It's all it's weird. the points of inflection are wrong. Oh all yeah, it's, it's like opposite day. Yeah. Yeah. The Great Tragedy in Dallas. This famous museum in San Antonio has San Antonio. many pieces of history and a wealth of strange... It's not San Antonio. It's not, that's not how you say it. Currences at night. Workers often hear their name called, have their clothing tugged on, tugged and sometimes on. see a transparent ghost that they think originated from one of the many ancient Native American artifacts on display. So weird! If you knew that guy, I swear, like, it would... It would unnerve you. You, yeah. you guys start changing the way you speak. What happened oh back there? Oh, my God. Blue band? What was that? Is that right, a ghost? Buddy? Is that one of the ghosts? One of the ghosts. Of haunting us because we're mocking his You're, fucking oh, it's savior? Okay. It's okay. Right. One of your staff just All killed right. himself. All right. One of your staff just... Really um, good? That's All so right. funny, dude. It does sound like a computer, like a, yeah. an updated Stephen Hawking like speak and spell voice. Isn't that also fascinating to you? That what? like one of the smartest guys on earth... Yes can't communicate well can communicate but with through a machine only it's because he knows the secrets to the universe and god had to be like stop it talking <laughs> <laughs> it's true he's like you're too smart shut up shut up now you okay. now you sound like like a latin mother right now who's like he thinks he's all better than there me there are hurricanes because god is angry <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Do you really think that, Mom? Jeez. People do think that, that it's because God's punishing us. It's Wait, so crazy. Your mother-in-law thinks that. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, don't, I try not to think about it, though. You yeah. Know? I try, you know, she's like old school, though, Tommy. No, I know. She's yeah. from fucking down under, down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, when you hear that, when you're talking to your own mom, who's like, God is upset. 
<laughs> like at this, like when I was 21, I'd be like, the fuck are you talking about? But now I'm like, yep, yeah, no, I know. He's fucking pissed. I know. Like, I'm not going to fucking waste energy having that argument. And see, isn't that the essence of maturity? Is yeah. when, uh, you know. It's getting I, tired. That's the essence yeah. of maturity. Yes. You're like, I think having you're right. this would just exhaust yes. me. Yes. To, yes. to explain how that's not Amen. happening. That that's like God's preach. not like, oh, I'm fucking get them with weather patterns. It's not happening. <laughs> so I just go, I know, we got to be better people. You're totally right. I hope he doesn't get more pissed this week. All right, I love you. Bye. <laughs> it's so true. I've just learned to let it go, like let other people's insanity go. This week in the South, you know, culturally, we all know I'm an elitist. I love L.A. Fuck, you know, never leave. Yeah, California's the best. There's no reason to leave. And, uh, and just like, I love it. I love it here. And, uh, you know, at the South, just, it's not my culture. And I would just hear it. Like the way they, they're nice people. They're not bad people. But just culturally, it's so different. And I was like, well, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, fuck, two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. Or whatever, like. Just a lot of apathy in, in the culture, you know, yeah. like, what's good to eat here? Well, there's a Wild Wings down the street. Like, I'm not going to, I'm 41 years old. I'm not going to go to fucking Wild Wings for dinner. Wait, like, why I'm, can't you go to Wild Wings? You know what I mean? I'm just an adult. Like, I can't. I like Wild Wings. No, I don't. <laughs> I can't eat that shit before I perform. And, no, and, not pre-show, but post-show. Later, for fun, every now and then. Do you remember one time where we were in the, we did that Southern Run? Yes, that's what I was thinking of in oh, Alabama, were? Birmingham. Yeah. And we were so depressed because we were in Birmingham, and then we went, <laughs> and we went to Wild Wings and bought like one of every flavor. Yeah, literally that was a mistake, every. Because, you know, you think like they, you're like, how much is an order? And they're like, well, it's like you get like five wings, and you're like, that's nothing. So <laughs> yeah, I, I saw like all the flavors. It. I was like. Oh, yeah, man. just like, hook me up, dude. Like, run through it. And he was like, you want one of every flavor? And I was like, I think so. And then we get back to the room, and I start setting them up. And she's like, how many wings did you get? And I, get, I think like two, I think like 60 or something like Serious. that. Serious. And you literally have, I don't know, like eight. And you're like, I'm pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, we got 35 wings left over. Ugh, so nasty. But the point is, my point being, I could have judged them and get all upset and be like, why aren't they like, think, you know, why aren't they more like me? But then I was like, I got to let that shit go, bro. Yeah. And fucking let it go. And Did you just let it go? let them do you. Because I was too tired and exhausted, like you said. Maturity. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I have a fucking kid at home. I don't give a shit about it. And you're like, God will pay these people back and he'll fucking. I don't pay these people back. You'll say, God, God will pay these people back <laughs> with a, a storm. <laughs> yeah, they'll yeah. get theirs. God's like, Ugh. no. Yeah. Yeah, God tell, <laughs> God from above looks down. He's like, hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, no, no. That's God. I know. That's God watching people do he, things. He decides. He yeah. decides who gets it, yeah. It is so cr All right, yeah, anyways. I know. The I older know. I get when people are like, God probably got upset, and you're like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So did the Easter Bunny, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we do, you know, um, obviously, this is... Um, I don't know. That the, was Olin. That's pastor, right? Yeah, he's pastor. a pastor. He, he, has he a, thinks that God is reigning fury on the gays, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's cum in the Starbucks. Remember, he was the guy saying No, that. no, no. <laughs> oh. That's a different guy. Oh, sorry. That's a different guy. That's... There's so no. many. Yeah, that's a different path. That guy thinks that there is jizz in Starbucks. The guy that you're thinking, that's yeah. not the hell no guy. But that guy also, in the same video that he says there's semen in your Starbucks, said be careful if you drink Starbucks because you just might get pregnant. Right. <laughs> Hannah. Because if you swallow jizz, you might, that's how babies are made. So, <laughs> so you know. You check it out, you know what I'm saying? It's a fear, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we do a lot of, you know what I'm saying, and... This week we had a You Feel Me submission. Uh, so that's always a nice one. It's a variant. Yeah. So uh, You Feel Me, oh, pretty gotta, close to, you know what I'm saying. You gonna go take a shit? Were you, were you actually shocked how, you know, how much they were trying to attack and go at you tonight? Man, hell no. They wasn't attacking me. I, I killed my damn self. You feel me? Uh, I should have kept backpelling on that first touch now. You feel me? <laughs> Got a little push in the back, but shit, it's, it's the game of football. You feel me? Now, 
this is NorCal all the way. Like he's. You feel me? Oh fuck yeah, he's from Oakland. You know what I'm saying? I came out and I was hella weak today. Uh, you feel me? I gave up two tugs. Um, but shit, we came out the victory, so I'm gonna take it as a uh, as a learning experience. You feel me? We gonna chalk it up and go in the main room, and then you feel me? Kick back, chill, and relax. <laughs> So crazy. I fucking love interviews, like where somebody doesn't. And you cause a fumble at the end of the game. Well, someone doesn't just give like straight up. Like, yeah. The fo- you know yeah. what I mean? They're like, "Well, as a team, this dude's like, we're gonna uh, kick back and chill and fucking watch the game tape. Yeah. Fuck you, like." Because I feel like, how do they hold their shit together to give those interviews? Because if it were me, I'd be like this guy. Like, I don't know, I'm fucking. That's what's fucked thing. Up this later. guy's not thinking about. The fact yeah. that this is nationally televised. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Well, I don't know. I mean, most people, that's the thing is that most of them do. Most of them are like, um, yeah. yeah, you know, the team, the team, we win as a team, and we lose as a team. <laughs> and like that, and you're like, oh, really? And then uh, what else? And he's like, well, you know, we don't, it, if, if anything bad happens, it's, you can't just blame one guy. Like they all do. This guy's like, yeah. I fucked up. I fucked my own shit up. <laughs> of course, and Justin got that for the touchdown. How do you feel about that? That made my game go from hella weak to weak. <laughs> you feel me? So I, I ain't I ain't hella weak. I'm just weak this week. Hella. Uh, next week I'll get back on my shit though. So uh, yeah. That's right, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely NorCal. Hella. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? 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 How do you feel about that? You feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. I never heard hella until dude. I did. I swear, like I never heard it like as part of the lexicon until I did the San Jose Improv. Uh, where I was walking out of the hotel, and I was like, let's go get something to eat. And then one of the hotel workers was like, oh, the sandwich shop over there is hella good. You should eat that shit. And I was like, oh, is it? And he's like, yeah, man, there's another hella good place over oh on 2nd Street. And then once it like entered, I was like, oh, then I heard everybody say it. Yeah, like, yeah it's nobody totally there. That. In the 90s, it was like full pumping. Everybody was saying hella. Dude, that's fucking hella awesome. It's hella, hella, hella. There was a girl on our floor in the dorm rooms. We just called her Hella because she said it so much. I don't even know her fucking name. We're like, what's up, Hella? Like, we. <laughs> that was that all about fantastic. the 90s, dude. Remember, you'd wear like your fucking overalls, your denim overalls and shit. Your bell bottom, like one off if you were dope. Tank top. Shit. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You guys want to try a... Um, yeah, you know what? I think what? it's time for my Pinot Grigio. Oh, shit. It ain't my sober October. I don't give a fuck. May I get a glass of Pinot Grigio? Anyone? Thank you, Mommy. I, why not? It's my day off. Do it. <laughs> you know what? Is it going to be hard for you to watch me drink? Oh, yeah. I'm fucking freaking out right now. <laughs> you white knuckling? <laughs> I'm never, it's never going to be hard to not drink booze. Thank it's God. not hard for me to not do drugs. Will I ever stop wearing cool hats? Never. <laughs> well, what happened to the hat? Good question, Tom. I lost it. I lost it. But <laughs> you know what that means? I'm going to buy fucking six more this week. All right. But I feel like it's not fair because you made me gave up my art teacher jacket. No. Remember that? <laughs> I started on that. The art? Yeah, it's you not fair. You love that jacket? Thank you. Plus, I was fat. I was hiding some baby weight. See? No. Nah, she liked it. That jacket is not a good look. Well, can I go back to my art teacher look if if you get your hat? Uh. That's only fair. Thank you. I I still vote no on that. That's not fair. What do you mean? What do I get in exchange? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, sir. Do I get to go more goth? Can I get more witchy? Yeah, you can get, yeah. Go for that. I could fuck a witch, I but I don't want the... Uh... I'm going to rebuy all my goth shirts. Do it. All right. The art teacher jacket is whack. All right. No, nah, that shit's not cool. Hell no. Yeah, that's a hell no jacket. So... Do you guys want to try a Master of Accents translation? Yeah, these are great. All right, here is um, a Scottish one. These are these are so fucking hard. hard. So let's see if how you is can, this English? And I have it translated. So as we go, th- we'll try it once. If you got it, you're amazing. And then I'll tell you what's actually being said. Okay, here we go. Oh fucking Scotland! Why don't you shut your fucking mouth? Get fucking spreading you pals. Zero clue. 
Zero. I have zero clue. Like, okay. not even an inkling. Nothing, right? What's it, bazaba, So, he says, fucking Scotland, why don't you shut your fucking mouth? I'll explain to you, pal, right? <laughs> okay. It's gibberish. Oh, fucking Scotland. Why don't you shut your fucking mouth? That fucking's waiting you, pal. Whoa. That really is what he's saying. Like, once you... I once still I, don't hear oh, it, Oh, once dude. you... Once I say it, you get, you're like, that's actually... Did you hear it? No. Really? Uh-uh. He just, it sounds like a dog barking. Like, wait, I don't li- understand. Listen to what I'm saying. All right. I was like, he says, like, something fucking Scotland. Why don't you shut your fucking mouth? I'll explain to you, pal. Right? Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh, fucking oh. Scotland. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you shut your fucking mouth? Damn fucking squeaky pals. Damn fucking squeaky pass. All right, What's how that about last this one? bit? Damn fucking. I'm fucking scrolling. Yeah, sure. They start fucking out in the fucking morning. Well, I've had a long day, mate. You know what I mean? Okay. All I want to do is get my ass out. And do you want to fucking tell you? Okay. Let's get on this. Let's take us all fucking scrolling. I called one fucking scrolling. So that. Let's try and fucking tell you. If you go fucking out of there. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay. Oh um, my God. Something about the fucking telly. Well, he definitely says fuck a lot. I can confirm that. Yeah. I'm on a fucking vomit. No. I'm a. He says fucking star- telly. He says fucking Scotland. You start fucking early in the fucking morning, okay? And you want to fucking tell me? <laughs> the fucking Scotland are called one fucking Scotland. So they are and do. You want me it to doesn't... fucking tell you? You can fucking anywhere, so you can. Okay. Well, I mean, this is crazy. Uh, it's That's real crazy. crazy. And it was translated by a Scottish guy for us. And it's definitely... Oh, fuck this phone! Yeah, sure. They start fucking out with a fucking bomb. I don't want to hear it again. So, yeah, that's terrible. Let's do the... This one here is shorter. Okay. Who... Or, I'm not going to say. I'll just let you hear it and see if it's in the Hey, you're fucking bald, don't fucking talk to me, what? Well, it'd be nice to me. I'll be nice to you. Keep out! I fucking know you, you fucking cunt. Isn't it crazy? You fucking cunt! You got that. Isn't it nuts that all of us and that guy speak the same language? I Isn't know. that nuts to you? I know. But that guy's on another planet. Like. And you definitely got it right. There's the last word. It's cunt. You're you got right. It. Kind of a master, to, too. Yeah, you are a master. I don't need to hear that again. Here's somebody um, that sent this in coming out of their co- colonoscopy. Um, <laughs> oh, no. You still have to get one, by the way. You snuck out of it last year, and then you've not rescheduled. Yeah, but you know what? Ever <laughs> since I cut out <laughs> yeah. sugar, I don't have monster fucking shits like that anymore. Like, I was always so like, I was like the skinny right? girl who was like, <laughs> oh, I have diarrhea all the time. But then I cut sugar out. That's true. Since you've cleaned up your diet, you haven't had those blasters yet. Yeah. Like, as much. But I, I think, th- what, what age do you have to start doing that as a guy? Colonoscopy? Yeah. No, like you, get, you get a prostate exam at 40. <laughs> Good. Colonoscopy, I don't know. All right. 50? 50, 50 for your 50. The poop shoot? Mm. Yeah. When they get up in there, and then the doctor's like, oh, I'm going to eat your scrum, and then they do a whole thing. <laughs> So here's this lady coming out of her colonoscopy. This is a, a lady. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> She's got that moose soup smoker. Yeah. She's got that, that is, smoker laugh. That is a real crazy. <laughs> yeah. Come down later for moose soup. Yeah. There she yeah. is. There she is. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, would you rather... Yeah. Get your passenger! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta eat the scrum on the moose soup lady. Oh, my God. Or the colonoscopy lady. Oh! Think about oh. it. One's fresh. No, one's not... I mean, one's fresh out of a colonoscopy, so... Jesus Super Christ. party, yeah. That's why the game is so hard, Tom. Uh, she's gnarly. Yeah, I know. That's the yeah. whole point. So which one do you choose? 
Probably the moose soup lady. Yeah. Still with the moose soup lady. Yeah. 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 She, she is knows. special. There is something. Bit. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. something like you know, charismatic like, about her, you know. She also gives you feedback, like you're, yeah. you know. Yeah. She's not, you're not just like hanging yeah. out there, like I'm. Hum, hum, hum. Like you're doing it, and she's fucking, you know, like you're you're putting your mouth down there, and she's. O M G. Like yeah. You know. <laughs> so you're like, all right, at least she appreciates what I'm doing. Yeah, that's true. She yeah. does give you feedback. Yeah. And approval. Yeah. Good oh, job, good Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eat her ass. And you she's guys like, are doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if her, what if her junk tasted like moose soup? Oh, fuck. Actually, that's not bad. I might yeah, it'd be good. I, I bet it tastes better than the fart lady. <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Do you want to do... Can we do Would You Rather? All right, sure. Whatever you want. All right, this will be fun. This is super gross what I had set up what? here. I, uh, somebody... Uh, it's too disgusting. Okay. Um, I know, now yeah. you're in. You didn't, all right, all right, hold on. You intrigued the audience. Nothing's too gross for our show. That's, That's what true. the show is about. Here's a beer ad. Imagine a woman of your dreams, your object of desire, her charm, her sensuality, her passion. Try her taste, feel her smell, hear her voice. This is for a beer. Hold on. Now free your fantasies and imagine that with a magic wand, you can close it in one bottle of beer. Okay. Hold on. We have discovered a process of transmission of her essence, of her femininity. Her instincts by isolation of lactic acid bacteria from her vagina. What? I told you it was fucking gross. I told you that. This is um, Whoa. a company called Yanni. They make beer with bacteria from the vagina of no. supermodels. And... That's this stupid. line is titled Bottled Instinct. That's silly. Is that amazing? Our laboratory isolates and multiplies the bacteria in a safe way. Additionally, we examine the final bacteria in terms of its purity and safety. So you're like, Ugh. oh, I'm drinking like this sweet girl's pussy beer right now. Like, Dude, men are nasty. Yeah. That's nasty as hell. It's fucking pretty wild, man. That's 100% nasty. That's super gross. Super fucking gross, man. <laughs> I don't know. There's yeah. no woman that's like... <laughs> okay, all right. I have to see a therapist about this. Right. You know that. No. <laughs> like, it's, there's no gross, cum right? here. We have selected beautiful Czech model, Alexandra Brandlova to be our source of the yoni. Oh. I'd be the source. How much money do you want for that? Who cares? He's like, I just need to take a couple of pussy swabs. And sure. Then, uh, 50 bucks, you got it. <laughs> make these 50 bucks. It's a great, it's a great way to promote my I special. I got more, yeah. You guys want my yoni beer? <laughs> Watch my special. Watch my special and drink from my box. Yep. Later. Yeah. Rate it. Put it in your queue. You know, it's funny, my dad in the 80s, he used to get those beers that you'd scratch the tits, you know, the scratch off. What? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No? No. Uh, he, I don't know, from our liquor store, and it was a beer bottle, and you could scratch her, it was a scratcher part, and you could see, like, the chick's tits. That's from the... Guys, what? my childhood was awesome. It sounds like <laughs> you guys are the weird ones here, I don't know. I used to think that was really fun, kind of, too. It's I'm on like, a beer bottle? Yes, it was like a scratcher What kind of beer ticket. was that? Some German shit. Oh. Yeah, not American. Yeah, no, sh I didn't yeah. think that was like, but yeah. light, dude, what are you talking about? Like, you scratch your tits and... <laughs> yeah, and you can see your tits. It was crazy. No, that's wild. That's yeah, weird. I'm sure that's, I should probably This is definitely another level, though. my therapist about that. Are mm. they like pussy swab beer? That's is like, disgusting, dude. Yeah. That's nasty as fuck. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drink the top layer. How many itchy assholes? It's time to play a real sexual predator. It's time to play chunky. It's time to play just naughty, filled toilet paper. 
The urine from two dirty homeless men. This time to bite my butt with your mucus. Homeless jars. I've of been have sex with your sister. Take it in the face. Vinegar strikes. The grandmother walks in on you masturbating. Never have another orgasm. It's time to play. It's time to play. Would you rather? It's time. To, it's time to play. It's time to play. Would you rather? Rather. Would you rather? All right, jeans. Here we go. We're going to start off mild, and then we'll get to varsity-level shit. All right. All right, Tommy. Would you rather yeah. be Bert's liver <laughs> or his heart? It's, it's a very good would you rather. I know. Yeah, it's ah, hard, right? Oh, shit. Let's see. I mean, here's this thing about it. It's just like Ugh. endless, endless flowing booze. You work so hard. Yeah, it really does work. You'd be, you'd be fucking exhausted. Yeah. From like you're like another fucking Tito's and soda, dude. Like. Yeah. It's drowning seven in the morning, man. gasping for air, drowning all the time. Yeah. Now, doesn't the liver regenerate itself? So you can repair yourself. That's it's regenerative. The organ. Well, That's but you get a break once every forty-four years. <laughs> Right, sober October, you get right. once so a year. Right now his liver's like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> his liver's like, I can breathe. Yeah. Or his heart is carrying around 335. And <laughs> you got it's the food, you got the running, <laughs> the panting, the... <laughs> There's a layer of fat, right, around it? A one? Or the, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it'd be a little more fun to be his liver. I think I would go with the liver just to like, I, it would just be like, it's kind of like, that's, his liver is living like Bert's life philosophy. He's like, just fucking go for it. Yeah. You know, like, so you just go out. Like, go on, hard. On, yeah, go hard. Because the heart is not going to be fun. The heart's going to be a nightmare. At least so if you're his work. liver. Yeah, you're his liver. You're having a good time. Yeah. You're enjoying yourself. You're up closing every bar in every city that you're performing in. <laughs> Might as well have a few laughs. I yeah, I might liver. go with you on this one, actually. Yeah. All right, go, clap for being Bert's liver. Yeah. Okay. Uh, applause for Bert's heart. Who wants to be Bert's heart? Yeah, it's, huh, it's a harder job. It's a Why harder job. Why would you job. want to be his heart, sir? Yeah. Sir, Why? Go ahead. You can just pull the plug whenever? Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you want to kill Bert? Is that what you're saying? He's like, no, maybe. Drunk yeah. with power, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you have way more power as the heart, so True. it might have been a, a lapse of my own judgment. I want to go back. I want to be his heart. Okay. It's definitely a harder gig. Scare him more. I'd be like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally scared. I'm totally scared. <laughs> yeah, I want to be his heart. I'm with you. I'm with his heart. <laughs> Love to give him panic attacks. Okay, here's my other one. I like this one. Okay. Okay, would you rather legally change yeah. your last name to Hitler? That's really cool. It's, it's a pain in the ass, too, if you've ever changed your name. Oh, you haven't. fuck. And like, you have to, like, don't DMV. you have to, like, make a case for it, too? Like, don't you have to, like, file and be like, I want it. You have to make it. a case. You, you know, but I mean, you have to be like, they're Social like, and what Security. is it? And you're like, Hitler? Yeah. Like, yeah. And the guy's like, I'm sorry. And you're like, Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to go to a social security office, yeah. the DMV. It's a fucking pain. And then in they're the at ass. the end, they're like, Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Hitler. <laughs> Your dream is now a reality. Yeah. Tom Hitler. And then now you're Tom Hitler, special comedian. Yeah. yeah. It's great to be here. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Please welcome to the stage, Tom Hitler. Yeah. Oh, wow. It has such a nice ring to it. Yeah, yeah. it does. It's your whole new identity. Okay. What's the other awesome option? Okay. Or every time you speak, it's in baby talk. <laughs> <laughs> like how our two-year-old talks. Ow, ow. How's I? And he goes, bye-bye. Yeah. Like that? Bye-bye. So I have to do stand-up like that? Yeah. Just walk out and go, how bye That'd be a fun hour to watch, wouldn't it? <laughs> poo poo, pee pee. 
you know, come out and going, I go, I go poo poo today. I go. Well, poo-poo's. I feel like life is like they both make your life really awful. So mm-hmm. good job on that. We got it. But one of them makes your life impossible. Right. The baby talk. Okay. You can't do like with the hit, first of all. There's a lot of times when you meet people where they don't have to know your last name. <laughs> Not but, in your biz. Oh, that's true. Well, I mean, I'm yeah, going by I'm Christina saying, P. Like, when, you so. know, you, but uh, but also like when you you know you walk in to get by a coffee, they're not like you don't have to be like. By the way, I'm Hitler. Call me Hitler. You don't have to say that. <laughs> but but, but if I'm a- like cop cop coffee, me want make. What if Papa Papa? <laughs> Yeah, I think they'd be like, get the fuck out of our store right now. <laughs> so that's, that's fantastic. What if it's like I can't a... believe I'm saying it, but I would definitely, I would rather be Hitler than, <laughs> than talk like that. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Because, okay, it would suck. Like, people, here's the thing. You can't tell people why you've changed your last name to Hitler. Oh, that's fuck. another caveat of the thing. I think they would make some assumptions. <laughs> Don't you? If you're like, I'm not explaining it. They're like, I think I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> Big fan of Charlottesville, are you? And you're like, Mom. Aww. Kind of want those statues back, bro. Aww. So, yeah. So, you're going to take Hitler as your last name? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, what if I made it like you're talking but at a first grade level? It's still like life is over. <laughs> like with the Hitler thing, you at least, you know, people would get upset with you all the time. People would be like, the fuck, you know, what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> you? Be so funny. But you could at least. You know, have a convert like you could talk your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Around it. Around the yeah. Okay. If you speak in baby talk. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Pictures. You could do things in pictures. You could be like the, do things the, in pictures. Yeah. L- hear me out. Like Just the be like a picture the show. The picture. Guy? Yes, the picture comic. I mean, fucking Dimitri Martin made a living out of like drawings and shit. Not to compare him. He's a very funny guy. But <laughs> no, I mean you, you can make a living. Uh. <laughs> You walked into that one, didn't you? God damn it. Dimitri, old four-year-old Dimitri. Right. I mean, you know, you just have to change your act a little bit and yeah. be like, I'm smashing watermelons, whatever the fuck yeah. it is. Well, why don't you? What, what's okay, your I, answer? I take, I, take, uh, I take Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. Cl- show it. applause for Hitler. Who takes Hitler? Yeah. Applause for Hitler. We don't right. always hear that, but yeah. All right, sorry, sorry, guys. I don't really. All right. Who would take baby voice? Yeah, it's tough. It's not okay. A lot. Wait, okay. why would you do that? Yeah, first grade's easier than toddler. Yeah. You think that's okay to communicate in first grade level? Yeah. All right. People would just think you're endearing. And girls can get they would away not with think, it. Well, you can get away with it if yeah. you're a woman, for like sure. like a hot chick. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Fine. Because then guys would be like, she's fucking perfect. Yeah. Like, she doesn't. Yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. I'm tired. I know. See? I know. All right. <laughs> get some old rich boyfriend. That's all you need. Yeah. All right, yeah. there we go. Okay. Take it. Why don't you clip your nails in front of me right now and your panties? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, would you rather, this one's more personal to Tom and I, um, every time we do it, it has to be while our son is crying in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> the caveat being like the nanny's there, but he's crying. You can hear it. Like, it's annoying and it's distracting and sad. So it's just know? a child for everybody just else. A, either your child or an, if you don't have a child, another child is crying in the next room, right next to you. So you're like, you're doing it and you're like, <laughs> just falling. Right. Or every time we do it, <laughs> the dogs get to stay on the bed. <laughs> and like... Beef gets really mad when, when, like, Tom and I hug. He starts barking and thinking that one of us is being hurt. Yeah. And then Bitsy will just start licking you, like, yeah. your legs. Is that? I'd finally get my scrum eaten, you get for your sure. Scrum. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Hmm. See, the thing is, I can tune out the crying, you know? So that's a tough one. Oh, my God. 
I can, I can. I, you do normally tune out the crying. It's amazing how you never seem to hear <laughs> four in the morning. Yeah, I'm just programmed, you know? Yeah. Hmm, so do I want to hear those tears or do I want to have a dog bark and lick and sniff me bark, during yeah, sex? The whole time. I'm going to go for tears. I'm going to go for tears. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Those are the real, Those are that. the real men in the room right now. Those are them. All right, you guys clap if you'd rather hear a, a baby crying as you're trying to make love to your spouse, okay? How about having two small dogs on your bed at the same time? Yeah, right. that one's... You want to fuck with those dogs on the bed? <laughs> Come on, every time, like, you're moving and the dog's like... Rawr, 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 like and they keep <laughs> licking, you're like, no! And then they're like... Rawr, rawr, yeah, the rawr. whole time. Super annoying. Yeah. Thief is relentless, too. He doesn't shut up. And you get into, like, one position you really like, and then you'd be like, what the fuck? How are you in my armpit? And then you look down, the dog's like... <laughs> I'd still take the dogs. I can't, really? I cannot do my baby crying. It's, Why? like, primal. Like, I hear it, my uterus starts, like, quivering, you know? I'm like... I used to think we're wired differently. To me, it is yeah, kind of, of arousing. Yeah. Like, I kind of like it, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Uh, Just those, huh? Let's see. Retarded, blind. Do you want to do fill her up? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's let's fill her up. Let's yeah. see her shut. All right, let's I'd go. Like to Here do we that go. One live. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fill her up. <laughs> so silly. Fill her shut. So gross. Okay. Okay. Now, since we're getting into hollow jeans, yeah. Yes, very scary time of year. I thought it would be nice if we could do a filler up, seal her shut, spooky edition. Yes. So let's start with the dudes. I'm gonna go uh, Edward Scissorhands. You guys know who the fuck that is, Johnny Depp. <laughs> I know it's kind of an older reference, so I don't know if you guys know. Okay, or Herman Munster. That's even older. We should That's even that. older as fuck. The Munsters. Do you guys know the Munsters? Describe them. So Herman Munster looks like Frankenstein. For those of you who don't know, like it's supposed to be Frankenstein. And then Edward Scissorhands is just hot ass Johnny Depp with some fucking blades on his fingers. You know what I'm saying? And like Johnny before he started drinking and hanging out with um, what's his name? Stan Hope. Well, yeah. <laughs> Before he started looking like a fucking pirate, like now he's oh, crazy. Yeah, you know like Keith I mean? Richards. Yeah, yeah, Keith yeah. Richards is who I was actually thinking of. Sorry. Uh, before he started drinking thirty thousand yeah. dollars of wine a week. Yeah. 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 All right. I mean. Did you ever see Edward Penis Hands? Yeah, I've heard you saw of it. it. Yeah. She, it, she saw it. <laughs> she wanted to. Yeah, I know. That was that was made like in that era, right? It was like made right back then, and it was a uh, like their parody, right? It was like, and did he? Was he like? <laughs> it was everything. Yeah. How would you feel about that? You yeah, want, here's want a weird thing though: is that the Edward Scissorhands? He's gonna hurt you. He's gonna, even though he's hot ass Johnny Depp. What if he's Edward Pen Penis Hands in no. this scenario? I'm gonna go Herman Munster because. What? No. Wh yeah. First of all, he's got that big old Frankenstein hog on him. <laughs> and. Uh. He's this probably so gonna begot green goo. It's gonna be fun and interesting. What? And his oh, laugh. That is nasty as hell. That is nasty. And he had that, <laughs> that weird laugh. You know, you'd be doing him kind of a favor. He'd be super grateful. Edward Scissorhands, he's hot. Like, he can get whoever, so he's no, not he gonna be No, he can't get giving. whoever. That's the whole thing. Dude, he's still fucking Johnny Depp. No, but Bullshit, you watch the... Dude. He's... That guy doesn't... That's the thing, is that everyone's so scared of him. He would be super fucking appreciative, you know? And then you're getting double the payoff because people are so scared of getting hurt by right, him right, right. that if you were actually like, I'm gonna fucking choke on this thing, yeah. and, and you're just like, keep your hands away, and you actually get him to do it, you're getting double the payoff. You're getting an appreciative little fucking model-looking guy. Well, that's true. I yeah. never thought Did of I just get you to way. switch dicks or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going Herman, and I, and I like him because he's sweet. Dude, I'm I chowing, think on, I'm chowing would... on that young fucking Depp dick, for sure. 
I'd go Johnny Depp, but like early Pirates of the Caribbean. No, no, that's not this scenario. I know, I know, but I like... What's your favorite Johnny Depp era? Let's be honest. Favorite era? Yeah, like when's he the hottest for you? I don't know. I mean, yeah, Jump Street's pretty Jump Street. crazy. How's and that's the, the thing. He probably was self-aware that he knows he's a good-looking dude in that era. Oh, yeah. But he doesn't have the I'm an international movie star air about him. So that's probably the best era to be with him. The newly 20, famous. Newly, like he's Johnny just Depp. like, oh, wow, people like, yeah. you know. What? Yeah. You'll suck my dick? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> like hanging out on the Sunset Strip, just doing yeah. blow. That's and different like, than what? like 10 years ago, Johnny, where he's just like, look, if I'm going to come, I need a mouth on yeah. each ball. I need a <laughs> mouth on my dick. I need 10 mouths around my ass. Like just yeah. to, that's how I'm going to get hard. And you're like, Jesus, you're pretty demanding. Like. Do you think that's what it's like for him now? He's for so, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, it's like some girl's like, I don't know if I can leave my four friends. And he's like, your four friends are fucking coming or I'm not coming. That's how it's going <laughs> to. That's so crazy. What reality do people live in? in like his that? reality? Yeah. It's got to be <laughs> outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> outrageous. Yeah. It's not even conceivable. And it's okay with him and not with Hef because Hef was gross. I feel like you have This guy nasty. really loves half. I so know, much. you're so upset. Was he your dad or something? What's the fucking. <laughs> nah, I don't give a fuck. I don't yeah. like concert. I don't know. Mm. Well, that's yeah. all right, boo boo. That's all. Okay, all right, that's fine. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go Herman Munster. He does Munster. have a weird thing, like, culturally, half. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's weird, too, that, like, I don't know, like, you get, you kind of get how people are like, you're the man, right? Like, everybody was like, you're the fucking yes. man. Yeah, he's wearing PJs. Yeah, so do but... comics, dude. That's what we do for a living. Like, <laughs> he, wore, he wore silk jammies and an ascot. Yeah, and his Could captain's hat. Could you imagine hat? that? His fucking captain's hat. What's up, dude? Busting nuts in those silk jammies. Yeah. <laughs> Holly. That had to be kind of rough, though. These last 20 years to take that nut, if you were... That's, yes. Yeah. Because, you know, he probably, like, presses a button. He's like, send her down the hall. Exactly, <laughs> and then, dude. And Pajama they have party. To be, like, they have to act like they're excited. Yeah, that's the thing. That's they probably I'm were saying. excited in the 70s. Yeah. But now, now they have to be like, <laughs> Yeah. Hey. What's up, half? And he's like, sit, sit on the end of the bed. Exactly. I want to see your twat. Uh, like, ha, 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 ha. You have to be excited about it. Exactly. Yeah, it's the faking of it. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I love you. Like, mm, okay. yeah. No, you don't. Okay. Spread them. Spread it. Spread. Uh, did we vote? Did we do the, spook the Which one? spooky oh, one? Oh no, we didn't vote. Well, I said Johnny. I'm you gonna go Herman, Herman Munster. Munster, like a fucking psycho. And then, what about the audience? Who wants? Who wants? Edward says her hands. Johnny Depp. That's a, good That's one. a lot of ladies cheering. Who wants the green gobbler, Herman Munster? Right. Huge dick. Huge dick? Yeah, yeah. How do you know what Johnny's got? I don't think it's that big. Not like Herman. Herman was a big dude. Yeah. What do you think Johnny's packing? Mm, average. Just a regular dong. Regular dick. But really? hot face, dude. Yeah, you know, because you'd hear about it. I feel like he's banged enough hot people. Yeah, the, the, they, word would get like, around because oh. big dicks yeah. get around. Like Milton Berle had a huge dick, uh, right? Yeah, who's uh, who's the people talk about the um, what's the guy from Mad Men? Yeah, John Hamm's apparently got fucking two hams between his legs, <laughs> and the uh, the surfer guy, uh, the famous what's the like M Kelly Slater, that guy's oh. got like a loaf of bread between See? his legs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, word spreads about your dick size. You fucking, and the people are like, how do you know, Tom? Well, there's a reason they call me. <laughs> the Dick Detectives. <laughs> yeah, I'll find you your dick. Go. Don't you worry about it. All right, we got to wrap this okay, up. Okay, okay, gonna... so right. for the ladies. Okay, it's Morticia Adams. And I'm talking like the, the recent one, like from the Angelica Houston. Yeah, but it's a her for people that... Oh, okay, okay, she's got, like, she's tall and skinny, and she wears, like, the tight, nice black dress. She's got kind of a big nose, but that's fine, and she's got, like, you know, red lips, like, kind of... Kind of gothish she, style, right? She's goth, yeah, yeah, yeah. goth. And then, um, or Winona Ryder in Beetlejuice. 
Ugh. But she's got that teenage angle, so it might be underage. I don't know if you want to yep. think about that. <laughs> Babe, it's illegal. It's illegal. What do you mean it's illegal? Okay, but Morticia's all woman. Like, she's of age. She's got babies and shit. Her tit situation's all right. Mm, yeah. I know. I love her. Winona forever. That's why I know what Johnny Depp would take on this one. I know. <laughs> That's right. She's a little shoplifter. Ooh, you... And pull her in the back room, like, let me look in your bags. You're in big trouble. I don't want to be in trouble. All right. All right. So stupid. There's only one way out of this. Stupid as hell. Fucking Winona, for sure. Yeah, Winona, right? Okay. Fuck yeah. Uh, who's, who's for Morticia? Anyone? Any Angelica Houston? Okay. Okay, Winona. Where's my Winonas? Yeah. She's the best, dude. She's so pretty. She's very she was always pretty. so skinny and gangly with those huge cans. Remember, like, Reality Bites? And she had those fucking knockers on her, man. She yeah. wouldn't wear bras and shit in the movies. Believe That's me. how you know you got nice tits, when you don't have to wear a bra and you've got, like, D-cups. I Damn. definitely remember. Don't worry about it. I, <laughs> I remember. Um, guys, we have to ra wrap up. Uh, this has been a super fun. Thanks for coming, Jeans. And we, um, we, we, yeah, we always we love you guys. Thank you for coming to our show. Thank um, you, Jeans. <laughs> woo, woo. Uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. We'll definitely do it again. We'll be out there if anyone wants to come say hi. We'll be out yes. there. Come Jeans. say hi. And um, again, thank you very much for coming to the thank live you, show. We thank you, Have a great week. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you on the next one. Good night. Bye, mommies. You know what I'm saying?